Hi, Tamil. Thanks for coming on the show again. Thank you. You are writing this column right at the time that the nationalization week is occurring, right? So the first question that comes out is: Has nationalization outlived its lifetime, and is privatization the pill for the solution? Complete privatization. Well, it's a very sensitive subject, you know. If you ask any publicity banker, they will get into the nostalgia trip that how they build bridges and roads and how they went for financial inclusion and brought banking to the masses. So yes, indeed, nationalization uh, has served its purpose, but probably uh, there's a time to go beyond it. Uh, that's the government policy also. Uh, if you have seen, uh, Prime Minister Modi has said that the government has no business to be in, in business. Yeah. And um, so, yes, to some extent, I would say, uh, I would not use the word outlive, but it, I would say the other way, uh, uh, appreciating the sensitivity of people, uh, it's, it has served its purpose. And probably now it's time to, um, time to look beyond it. And as far as privatization is concerned, as uh, 2021 February budget spoke about uh, uh, starting uh, with two banks. So I would like to believe it's an experiment. Having said that, privatization, is it the panacea? Definitely, uh, uh, if you look at the other side of it, is every private bank doing well? Certainly not. I mean, there's governance issues, there is business model issues. Um, let's not name any bank, but uh, they are not the, uh, not all of them are the best example of how banking is done. Even if government wants to bite the bullet and go for larger privatization, I think for the, for the masses, for social banking, it must have a few banks under its belt. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs to be, uh, because when you have, uh, say, uh, Janhan Yojana, or when you have, um, you know, want to reach out to the masses, is basically, I will, not, I will not say that using it as a political weapon, but it's a socio-economic, it's a vehicle for, uh, uh, you know, to address the socio-economic issues. Then you don't treat them as a, as a business entities. Mm -hmm. Don't expect them to be hugely profitable. Don't look at ROA and ROE. Focus on the purpose. It's for socio-economic purpose and let them be that. But that socio-economic purpose that you talk about can also be solved by RBI guidelines and instructions. Priority sector lending is one. The RBI can also instruct banks to do Jandhan accounts as well. So why have those banks if you can get RBI to, if RBI can get private sector banks to do the same thing? You look at Jandhan Yojana, the numbers, and if you look at the percentage of uh, the participations of uh, private banks and then public sector banks, uh, then you will see why it is. I mean, there are norms, yes, 40% uh, priority sector is norm for everybody. Uh, that, there is no escape for that. But apart from that, uh, there are, you know, that, that, that's, that's always there. And the priority sector norm is, it, it keeps on changing. It's not a static thing. But the others like PMJDY, et cetera, whenever the government comes, you, you look at the participation of, uh, of uh, private sector. It's, it's not comparable with, with public sector. So they are reluctant because they, they care for the balance sheet. They care for the quality of assets. They care for ROA and ROE. Uh, they are answerable to the investors, mm -hmm. which is not the case uh, with the public sector bankers. Public sector bankers know that the government is there. You know, it's a uh, uh, PC Sarkar's magic. They used to say that uh, the, uh, one pitcher, he will always turn it upside down and it's still the water of the Ganges and it's given by my grandma. And it, it never dries up. Every 15 minutes, in between the play, every every play, uh, every every magic trick, he will put this pitcher upside down and shows that it's the water of Ganges, and the pitcher is given by my grandma, and it never dries up. So, public for for the for public sector banks, recapitalization is the water of the Ganges, and the grandma is the government. Not to make money, money you can make through divestment, but privatization actually government. Once does not want to keep on pumping in this recapitalization fund. Now, when you talk about previously privatization in your column, you talk about bringing the state down to below 51% may not be enough. You, so, would it be better if it, the, the government brings down the state to 26% and still keeps strategic control? Or does it need to go even below? At least 26%. At least 26%, because under the Companies Act, 26% gives you the power to block any resolution. 
So mm -hmm. at least 26%. And more importantly, which I have pointed out also, uh, you know, it's not the ownership, but how the owner behaves. Right now, the Bank Nationalization Act gives government powers, uh, like for everything, right from telling bank what is to be done, to uh, appointment of the CEOs and, and uh, other directors, uh, uh, to everything else. Uh, unless the government cedes its control, who will be interested in putting in money in this yeah. In this uh, in these banks, as you were aware, that if you and me put in money right now, I mean, it's, it's our voting right is capped at ten percent, but that's yeah. not applicable to government. Mm -hmm. So then, either you make it uh, proportionate to uh, your holding pattern, or you make it uh, twenty six percent, or uh, how much you hold, whatever is less. So right from the cap on voting has to uh, lifting the cap on voting to the various rights, controlling rights, which the owner enjoys at this point of time under various sections of Banking National Act, they need to be changed. Now I'm taking you off topic. In a recent paper in July monthly bulletin, Michael Patra said that the worst for inflation may be behind us. A recent BS poll shows that rupee may not slide beyond 80.5 to a dollar in September. Does that mean that RBI may not be as aggressive on hikes as we had perceived and we may well remain below the 6% mark? So 6% is, Father, we are talking about the interest rate 6%, right? The repo rate. The repo rate it, it, it's, 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 it's far away right now, 4.9%. Yeah. Now, the if you see in the in this, uh, in the recent past, uh, Bank of uh, I mean, uh, various global banks have hiked rates and very aggressively. Uh, as we speak, uh, U.S. Federal Reserve will probably go for 75, definitely go for 75 basis points. Um, earlier, it was talking 100 basis points. Now, at this point of time, if you do not respond to other central banks' rate hike, uh, then definitely you are creating a situation where nobody will be interested to take exposure in India as far as currency is concerned because of the interest rate differential. So RBI cannot afford uh, no, to not to hike the rates. Now, the, what will be the pace and how it will be done? That's that's the question. Gov the governor has said that we'll work for, look for soft landing. Uh, so that, but does, does the soft landing mean that you go for 10 basis point in every, every policy? Certainly not. I'd be surprised if uh, um, Reserve Bank of India does not go for 50 basis point hike uh, next, uh, in the next policy, uh, August policy, that that will take it to 5.4. Uh, and then rest is depending on the inflation trajectory and the rupee movement, whether you'll go for 25 pips each and all. So it's 5.9 and 6 point plus 6.25 kind of thing by, by the end of the fiscal year. I don't think you, you have any choice but to, because you need to both contain inflation as well as currency depreciation. And uh, interest rate is one weapon uh, to, to fight both. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. We hope to see you back again soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.